My name is Olivia Lott, and I will be reading from my translation of Lucia Estrada's Catabasis, which will be out at the end of September with Eulalia Books. Lucia Estrada is from Colombia, and it's worth mentioning, given that it's Women in Translation Month, that this will be the first book-length English language translation of a woman poet from Colombia to be published in the United States. The poem I'll read comes from the last section of the book, and I'll just say that the speaker goes through quite a journey to get to the kind of place where, where this kind of poem happens. Stare at five. With an epigraph, madness took the form of a decorative flower. P-A-E-Z. Subtitle, our toe in the wolf's house. Then and now, the scream. Then when life was making its way into your brain, branching out, becoming darker, denser, almost an oily stream of images, stones, red hot knives, all on the brink, all of a sudden carried out. Now, as you're trying to decode what has just fallen on your head, shapes, blows, jumbled languages, the howl of those who can't handle fear and throw themselves at the wolf's mouth before looking him in the eye. Now, as your thoughts abandon you at every level, nobody was as close to herself as this thirsty animal waiting for you on every turned page and every word sets of flames, ember in the thick of palate and teeth, unbearable loyal, scraps which I was able to rescue from utter nothingness, silence of matter shining, splashing with your blood, what others set aside, what others didn't call by its name, what they hid right next to the sewing machine, an umbrella, and dissecting table. Death is complete only for those who surrender to it, for those who build it from minor slurs, convenient lies, told the ears, ill will, false gods made of gold, clay. There's nothing to argue, not then, not now, when even eyes were scorching salt splinters, someone else's eye, when others laughed facing Eke Homo, and that wild grin, white aseptic, was shielded among liquor and hellish recipes, when not even the doubled star or the lightning bolt could shudder the cry that you were everything. So it's about you and me and your thoughts stumbling down the stairs that are the world, your words, wolf's mouth swallowing whole, spitting themselves back up, becoming far-fetched, out of line, filthy. The little celestial poet who isn't you, the one hanging by a thread, the one bursting. Night has made off with the day's scraps. Night all calm, soft, silent cry. Night and your angels rising from the earth. Life consists of burning of questions you say, and a dark current runs down your nerves, bones, marrow, slice, dissect, show nobody. This might just be a perfect anatomy lesson under this crust of bone and skin, which is my head. You make up your mind, listen to the tree quiver, then, and now the scream. The little poet in the wolf's house, maybe he'll eat the night's dark heart and fall three times, eke homo, stare by stare, then and now, now and later, making the same sound, the same sound, the same sound of night and tree in the middle of wind. Thank you. <laughs>